Welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be talking about one of the most exciting trends in modern agriculture. Vertical farming. We'll explore what vertical farms are, how they work, and why they might be the key to a sustainable and secure food future. What are vertical farms? Vertical farms are indoor agriculture systems that use stacked layers of growing beds to produce crops in a controlled environment. They can be located anywhere, from urban rooftops to repurposed factories, and use advanced technologies like LED lighting, hydroponics, and automation to optimize plant growth and minimize resource use. How do vertical farms work? In a vertical farm, plants are grown in nutrient-rich water instead of soil, with artificial light and temperature controls replacing sunlight and seasonal variations. This allows crops to be grown year-round, regardless of weather or location, and with much higher efficiency than traditional farming. Vertical farms also use less water and pesticides than conventional agriculture, and produce no runoff or soil erosion. Vertical Farms Advantages Vertical farms have many advantages over traditional farming methods. They can save up to 95% of water and 75% of energy compared to conventional agriculture. They can also reduce land use, greenhouse gas emissions, fertilizer and pesticide use, and transportation costs. They can grow a variety of crops, from leafy greens and herbs to fruits and flowers, and even fish and insects. They can also provide fresh and nutritious food to millions of people who live in food deserts or face food insecurity. Why are vertical farms important for the future of food production? As the world's population continues to grow, and climate change and resource depletion put pressure on traditional farming methods, vertical farms offer a promising solution to many of the challenges facing food production. By producing food locally and using minimal resources, vertical farms can reduce the carbon footprint and supply chain inefficiencies of traditional agriculture. They can also provide fresh, healthy food to urban areas where access to produce is limited. However, vertical farming also faces some challenges. They require a lot of initial investment and maintenance costs. They depend on reliable electricity and internet access. They may face technical issues or cyber attacks that could disrupt their operations. They may also face social and ethical issues, such as public acceptance, regulation, labor rights, animal welfare, etc. Despite these challenges, vertical farming is rapidly growing and evolving. Many startups and companies are developing new technologies and solutions to make vertical farming more efficient, affordable, and scalable. Some examples are 1. Artificial intelligence. AI can monitor and optimize the growth conditions of crops, such as temperature, humidity, light intensity, CO2 levels, etc. It can also analyze data and provide insights and recommendations for farmers. 2. Robotics. Robots can perform tasks such as planting, harvesting, packaging, and delivering crops. They can also reduce labor costs and human errors. 3. Biotechnology. Biotechnology can enhance the quality and yield of crops by modifying their genes or using microorganisms or enzymes. It can also create new varieties of crops that are more suitable for vertical farming. 4. Nanotechnology. Nanotechnology can improve the efficiency and performance of vertical farming systems by using nanomaterials or nanosensors. It can also create new applications such as smart packaging or edible coatings. These are just some of the examples of how vertical farming is changing the way we grow food. I believe that vertical farming has a bright future and will play a key role in feeding the world's growing population while protecting the environment. 10 Facts and Figures About Vertical Farms 1. Space Efficiency Vertical farms can yield up to 100 times more crops per square foot compared to traditional farming methods. 2. Year-round production. Vertical farms can produce crops throughout the year, regardless of weather conditions or seasonal changes. 3. Water conservation. Vertical farms use up to 95% less water than conventional agriculture due to closed-loop hydroponic or aeroponic systems. 4. Reduced pesticide use. The controlled environment in vertical farms minimizes the need for pesticides, resulting in healthier, chemical-free produce. 5. Energy efficiency. 
LED lighting and climate control systems optimize energy use, making vertical farms more energy efficient than traditional farms. 6. Urban integration. Vertical farms can be built in urban areas, reducing transportation costs and emissions associated with food distribution. 7. Faster growth cycles. Vertical farming allows for precise control of environmental factors, leading to faster growth cycles and higher crop yields. 8. Crop diversity. Vertical farms can grow a wide variety of crops, including leafy greens, herbs, and small fruits, allowing for greater food diversity. 9. Reduced land use. Vertical farming reduces the need for land conversion and deforestation, helping to preserve natural ecosystems. 10. Job creation. Vertical farming can create new job opportunities in urban areas, contributing to local economies and promoting sustainable development. Conclusion. So there you have it, a brief introduction to the world of vertical farms. While they are still a relatively new technology, the potential benefits of vertical farming for the future of food production are undeniable. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.